Hi, this is Cyprian from FUFO and welcome in this video tutorial for Salome Maker. Today I'll talk about something really interesting which is how you can automate the model creation process using Python uh, inside Salome Maker. So that's uh, I suppose that you have some basics about Python and you know more or less how to run a Python script and all of things. Uh, and if you know all that, you will be able, I think, to follow with this video. And I'll show you how to, to create a simple model uh, and how to find uh, the way to build more complex models with Python. So uh, the first thing I, I still want to add is that it's very useful to, to you do that because uh, it's not always easy to construct the full model into a graphical interface uh, especially when you know your model is quite complex and when the structure is repetitive you can use Python to to use loops for example to generate the same shapes a lot of times and you can uh, or you can do a model which is um, you know who depends on certain variables so you just change a variable and the model model will uh, will expand in size or you'll be able to have some parametrization on the model. So, okay, let's show you how to do that. So the first thing is, so you open the Salome Maker and we are going in the geometry model. And in order to show you how it works, I need to create a very simple model first. So uh, let's do something really uh, simple, which uh, let's use, let's create a simple box. Okay, and let's uh, mesh it. Let's go in the mesh model, uh, mesh module, and let's just mesh it quickly. So I'm using the most simple uh, mesher and the default parameters. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, let's compute that. Okay. So I have my model. Now, uh, there is a functionality which is very useful, uh, which is called dump the study. So you go in the file menu. Uh, and you click on dump study and it will create directly the Python file which all the instructions that have been used to generate this model. So let's call it study and let's open this file in order to check what is inside. So it's a standard Python file and that's what I'm reading inside the file. So um, the first thing that you see it, it does here is that it imports the sys uh, module from Python so it's uh, in order to perform certain system operations it imports the Salome module which will be used to control Salome uh, from the Python script and it will initiate Salome uh, and then it will create a study variable and import a notebook and it will add this study to the notebook and then it will uh, define the system path that will be used for the script. So basically this is the initiation of uh, that. So it's not really important but every kind of file you will export will have this, uh, this header. Now in this part here you see that you have a small section called geom component which means that this is the part where the geometry is actually generated and in this part here you have s mesh component so this is the part where uh, the mesh is actually uh, created so you can totally automate the process of geometry creation and the process of mesh creation if you know the right functions to use so now what it does here is that it imports the geom module and then it imports from the salome.geom, it imports uh, another module called geom builder, and it imports the math module, which is supposed, I, I think, to do some very simple math operations, uh, and another module called salomeds. Um, and now what it does is that it creates an instance of the geom pi, the geom builder. So the jump builder is, uh, is it's a class which will use the study. So it will be initiated using this the study that you created a bit earlier, and you will get geompy. And every object you create inside your geometry will be based on this geompy object. So uh, you see that every time you add 
So in here, if what it does actually is it's make making the the, the vertex zero zero zero, so the the, the initial initial point, and then it creates the three vectors o x o y and o z, and it creates the box that I did. And finally, what it does is that it adds everything to the study. So when you are in Python, don't forget to add this to the study, otherwise you will not see it into the graphical interface. Uh, and in the mesh components, well, there's a bit more uh, things to understand, but basically it's also quite straightforward. It's first create a new uh, S mesh builder instantiation called S mesh. So same procedure than here with GeomPy, but it's called it's called S mesh because we are in a different module. Then uh, it creates the mesh set from the geometry box one, and then it creates the the solver, uh, not the solver but the mesher. So it creates the mesher which will be tetrahedron mesher and will use the algorithm S mesh builder dot netgen. 1D, 2D, 2D, 3D, so that's what I chose. And then it basically sets some uh, parameters of this measure, so to define the size and all this. Uh, and finally, mesh.compute, so it creates the mesh. So that's that's all, all you need to know in order to build. So if you want to build a custom geometry, the only thing you have to do is to take the same architecture file in here, you replace by the right functions uh, the, and, and you will be able to create uh, new things. So let me give you an example. Let's just add, let's just copy that and let's, let's make it, let's call it box2. Let's, um, let's make it bigger, 400, 400, 200, let's say. So just just to demonstrate, and then we ha we need to add that to the study, and let's call it box two. Let's give it a name of box two, uh, and I will not mesh it this time, so I will just remove this part about the meshing. Okay, now how do we uh, how do I import that into Salme? Basically. Well, I start a new study, so I will just close all of that. I go in File and I do Load Script. Then I go and select my script file, I open it, and now you see that I have my box 2, which is now available. So it's created the box with the right dimensions. So you could uh, you know, if now the problem is that you need to know the name of all the functions, right? You know that these, uh, you, maybe you don't know what is the name. For example, we don't usually know that to create a box, you have to enter make box dx, dy, dz, and 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 the right uh, numbers here. So there are two ways you can uh, you can uh, do that. The first one is you actually do it inside the graphical interface like I did, then you dump the file and you take a look at what is dumped So then, and you get the name of the functions that have been used to construct the geometry and then you just use the same name of the geometry. Um, the, second, the second thing you can do is to go into the help. So you go help, geometry module, user guide, and you see that you have geometry module Python interface. And if you open that, uh, Python interface geom builder, import export, and basically it gives you all the command you need. So creating geometric object, basic geometrical objects, complex object, primitives, transformations. Well, you get everything inside this file. So it explains to you how to create a line, how to create a circle. Uh, it gives you some basic scripts. Uh, you can even download the script so that's, uh, and you can use that right away to create the geometry as well. So if you have some doubt about how to do something, just go into help. And you can also go here and for example, start to type something. So get 
shapes, for example, get shapes on, oh sorry, get, get shapes on, and you see you have a lot of choices, get shapes on cylinder, get shapes on cylinder IDs, and you just click here, and you will get description of the data structure, so you know which kind of arguments this function requires and all that. So that's the second way to do it. Um, okay, uh, and now what you can do when you have a Python script is basically you can use all the Python syntax to basically to, to do whatever you want. So if you want to create a series of boxes, not only one, you could make for i in range uh, and let's say you want to make 20 boxes in range 20 uh, and then don't forget the indentation here uh, and then you can just let's say for a you want to make a box uh, you want to make a box well you want to make a box anyway and you want to add this box to to the study, okay, with the name, I know, name box, box dot, uh, and then you can add a Python, st so don't forget this is a string, so you have to use stri, uh, and, well, you, you could make a variable to, to make the dimension, I don't know, of dimension of 200 plus i if you want. Well, that's just an example, but you could run that and it will create uh, 20 boxes for you, so you don't have to click 20 times on the create box function. Of course, creating 20 boxes of the same size, almost, it's a bit silly, you will not do that, but uh, you get the point, I think. Now, let me um, present you something else, uh, which is also interesting if uh, you want to use Python to create things. Um, why don't you take the function here and you see that here in this area you have something called the Python console. So you could you know, paste the function and click and it will actually uh, add the box. So here it didn't add it because I have to add it to my study so geom pi dot add to study box box okay and we still don't don't see it here because you have to refresh so right click refresh and you see the box has been added now uh, it works right away because I already imported a script before, so it created the geompy object uh, from the script, and I'm c I can use this geompy object right away. Now if I start a new session, you know, from nothing, uh, I open the geometry module. Let's clear that. Now if I try again the same thing, and I just input box, click on enter. Okay, it works. Uh, well, I know because usually it doesn't work, but, um, okay, so in this case it's because I, I already, okay, let's close Salome Maker and let's open it again. I'll show you what I want to show you. Okay, let's open it again. Okay, let's create a new geom. Let's try again. Okay, and now you see that you don't have, uh, it doesn't work, basically. When you create a new instance, it doesn't work right away. That's because your geompy object um, it's, is not defined yet, basically. So you have to tell the interface that you have this geompy object. So to do that, basically, you have to, to uh, import manually a few things. So for example, you have to import Salome. Uh, you have to import the study, then you have to import the geom module, and you have to 
also import the geom builder and finally you have to create the geom pi object okay so you, you need to input those lines first before you can use this python console in order to to create your uh, your model now let's try again with the box now it works and add to study let's add it okay, it doesn't geompy dot add to study box box okay refresh now we have the box okay okay now I think you got the point so this uh, you can use that you can use the script um, and you can use the hub to get the functions and basically this is how you can create your model using Python inside cell Mimica. so I hope you have a lot of fun with uh, the automation of model creation because this is really something uh, really really nice um, and you could define variables you know you you could make your model uh, parametric for example you could you can do a lot of things without the need to change your model from the geometrical interface every time so that's simplifying a lot the workflow okay so thank you very much for watching and if you like the video if you want more videos next uh, or if you simply have something to say, uh, don't hesitate to leave a message uh, either on the video or on the, the blog. Uh, I'm reading every message and I like very much when people uh, gain some value from those videos that I create for you. So thank you very much again and have a great day.